Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we'll see how to use the Voice Mod Voice Changer in conjunction with your Roll20 games. And what this will allow you to do is change your voice into these very dramatic, terrifying tones. And also allow you to play sound effects during combat and exploration to help spice up gameplay. So, let's see how it works. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So one of the things I really love about game mastering is giving each monster, each NPC, each villain their own unique voice. And I have a decent number of character voices to draw from that I can do, but eventually you wind up reusing them and that starts to feel a little stale. So what I wound up doing was looking for a tool I could use to augment my existing voicing abilities and I found voice mod. And I've been using this for about a year and a half now and I I really, really love it, and you'll see why in a few minutes. But the upshot here is today I want to show you how it works, how to use it, and then ultimately how to wire it up into your Roll20 games. So the first thing you want to do is download Voice Mod. There's an affiliate link down in the video description, so if you do download with that, it does help support the channel. There is both a free and a paid version of the tool. And the difference is the free version, you have a much smaller number of voices and sound effects to draw from than you do in the paid version. So once you've got the tool downloaded and installed, you're ready to start using it. So let's see how it works. During the setup process, you're gonna be prompted to choose your input device, so the microphone that you're using, and your output device, so whatever your speakers or headset is that you're listening to yourself with. And then once you've made those choices, you're gonna be presented with the voice box. And the voice box is where you can see all of the different voices that voice mod makes available to you. And there are a ton of voices in here. So let's play around with this a little bit. So let's say our characters are exploring a cave network and they stumble across a lost miner and you want to have it sound as if that miner is speaking to them in a cave. Well, we can click on cave here and that applies the cave effect to my voice. And the cool thing about this is we can use these sliders to adjust the background effects that are happening right now. We can adjust the amount of reverb inside our voice and we can adjust the volume and this mix. So all these things are customizable. And once we're done, we click on clean and that takes you back to your normal voice. Now, my voices here are showing up in this favorite section because I use them a lot. If you need to find a particular voice very quickly, you can type in this search box here. So if I need to find clean, I can just type that and it will pull it up. Now, one other thing I should mention is that when you're experimenting with this, turn on the hear myself switch down in the bottom left hand corner, and that will allow you to hear what the effect sounds like coming through your headphones. So what I like to do is look at the scenario I'm about to run and see if any of these voices would work well for that. So for example, recently I ran a Call of Cthulhu game where the player characters could find a radio that they could use to call for help, call out to the Coast Guard and see if the Coast Guard could come rescue them. And I wanted the Coast Guard NPC voice to sound as if it was coming from a radio because that would really help with the immersion. So the voice I used for that was called Radio Demon. And by default, Radio Demon has these background effects, which don't really fit with what I wanted. So you turn all those down to zero, and now it just sounds like your voice is coming out of a radio. And then once you're done, flip back to clean and continue on. Now, in addition to the voice changing capabilities, voice mod also gives you a soundboard, which allows you to incorporate sound effects and play those into your games. And so there's a whole bunch of different libraries available to you here. I'm gonna go down to the Vikings one, and that gives me some combat sounds like swords or arrow volleys. And that's pretty cool. It adds a little bit more immersion into your game. And another great thing about this is you can actually create your own custom soundboards and import in any sound effects you already have on your PC and then play them through voice mod soundboard. So let's see how to do that. I'm just gonna click on this plus icon right here and I'm just gonna call this my custom board and we'll create it. And now I've got this Windows Explorer folder full of sound effects and this discovery.wav file. I play this when my characters make a grim discovery in Call of Cthulhu. It sounds something like this. 
And so I want to add that into my soundboard. So I can just drag this right in. And there it is. And now when we click on it, the sound plays. So just like we can create our own custom soundboards, we can also create our own voices by going here to the voice lab. And this allows you to apply a bunch of different effects to your voice. So for example, let's say I want to sound in a higher pitch. I could click this. And now my pitch is up. And using this slider, I can adjust how much pitch my voice actually has. We can apply multiple effects simultaneously as well. So let's say I want a higher pitch and I want more of an electronic sound to my voice. Well, that's going to be pitch and flanger. So pitch and flanger. And now the voice sounds like this. But maybe we want to take it a step further and we want the higher pitch, the robotic sound, and we want it to sound like there are multiple versions of us speaking simultaneously. Well, that's going to be pitch, flanger, and chorus. So with all three of those turned on, I sound like this. Now let's say that that's exactly what we want. What we're going to do is save that with its own custom name. And so to do that, you're going to follow these steps. You'll turn on your particular settings, you'll click the save button, and then we can give this voice a custom name. So I'm just going to click on this little pencil right here. I'm going to call this the Electro Chipmunk voice, and then I'm going to turn on those settings. Save. And now here's my new voice. And then I'll click clean to go back to my normal sound. Now, if you've got a bunch of different sound effects or voices that you're going to use during the course of a game, you don't want to have to be jumping around a whole lot in this screen, clicking on different tabs or searching for different voice names. So there are two approaches you can take to this. The first is to create a keybind for your particular voice or sound effect. So let me show you how to do that. A keybind basically means that you're going to add a keyboard shortcut to a particular voice. So like right here, I've clicked on add keybind. And now I just press whatever particular keyboard sequence I want. So control alt and C for clean. And now when I click those keys, it will automatically set me back to that voice. So if I go back to my cave sound and now I'm echoing, I'm going to press my keyboard shortcut and it automatically jumps me back to clean. If you'd like to remove a keyboard shortcut, just click on it again and then press this X over here on add keybind and that will clear it out. The alternative to using keyboard shortcuts, and this is the one that I use, is to set up an Elgato Stream Deck, which is a separate physical device that has 15 programmable LCD keys on it. So you can make these do whatever you want. So I have mine wired up to voice mod so that I can literally just press a button on this keyboard and automatically switch to a different voice. That's obviously a bit more involved and may not be for everybody, but I did want to mention it that, that that's how I do this. So now that we've got voice mod all set up and the way we want, let's see how we tie it in to our Roll20 game. So here we are in our Roll20 game. What we want to do now is click over on the settings cog here, and we're going to go down to audio and video, and we're going to say configure devices. And in audio import source, you want to make sure that voice mod virtual audio device is selected. This is what's going to actually send the voice mod effects into Roll20. If you have this set to just your regular microphone, your players will not hear the sound effects or the voice mod that you've got going on. So you always want to make sure that you've got that set properly and then save the changes. And then what I recommend you do is just always have clean on and enabled, and that's your normal voice. And then you go through, you flip to whatever other voice you want, whether it's the radio, the cave, or one of the other ones that we've looked at today. And then once you're done, jump back to clean and then continue your narration. If you use a different audio program, like if you maybe you use Zoom or Discord or something like that, there are instructions on Voice Mod's website for how to wire up Voice Mod into those tools as well. So there you have it. That's how you can incorporate Voice Mod into your Roll20 games. Now, one final piece of advice is use this sparingly. 
As with many things in life, a little bit goes a long way. So have one or two voices that you'll flip into, have a handful of sound effects that you'll apply, and that'll really help increase the level of immersion for your players. So, just want to close out by saying thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.